attractive. Hi everyone, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now last April to May, I lost 30 pounds within one month. Four weeks. That's all it took. I'm gonna say that's pretty good. Now most of you guys know that I started out my weight loss journey by doing the military diet where you can lose up to 10 pounds in three days. And if you haven't seen that video, you can click right above and learn how to do that diet for yourself. Now this diet was a great way to jump off my weight loss plan. Not only did it teach me portion control, but it also shrunk my stomach so that I felt fuller faster. However, after this diet, I didn't want to continue eating that way because to me it just wasn't realistic. I wanted to learn my own way of eating right and still lose weight at the same time. So what I ended up doing was shrink down my three big meals of the day to six small meals. What you're doing is evenly distributing food for your body to burn throughout the entire day, which in return helps to speed up your metabolism which in return helps you to lose weight. I also started to eat more whole foods and less processed. And in the end, that's what really worked for me. So today I decided to show you some typical examples of what I would eat in a day to help me lose weight and what I continue to eat to help maintain my weight now. Well, without further ado, let's get this sh started. You're probably like, shut the f up and show me the plan. Meal number one, breakfast. Now, breakfast I would eat normally within the first hour that I woke up, and this was usually around eight or nine. If it was a good night, sometimes I would sleep in a little bit later. Hey, sometimes you just need to get your beauty sleep. And what I normally would eat would be one egg cooked any way I liked, one slice of whole wheat or multigrain toast with two tablespoons of natural peanut butter and a half a grapefruit. Now, if you watch the military diet, you might be saying that's really similar to one of the meals on there, and it is because I really liked the food combination. It gave you multiple protein proteins, complex carbs, as well as some fruit, and grapefruit especially is known to be really great for weight loss. I would personally just drink water, but some people need coffee or tea in the morning, that's fine. I would just be light on the cream and the sugar. If you are a juice person and you really feel like you need juice at least once a day, this is the time to have it. Breakfast only. So if you want a glass of juice, make sure that it's all natural and chug away. No alcohol on it though, okay? Meal number two, your mid-morning snack. Now this is the meal that you would eat in between breakfast and lunch, so I would say a around 10, 30, 11. And what I normally would eat would be two tablespoons of hummus, a few carrots, with a few pretzel chips. Don't go crazy and eat the whole bag. Be conscious. If you don't really like hummus or you want a different route, you can always go with a few saltine crackers with one slice of cheddar cheese and a small apple. Actually, if you slice up your apple, put it on the cracker and then put the cheese on it and eat it all together, it's actually delicious. I mean, you might be thinking that's freaking disgusting, but it's like a nice combination of like salty and sweet. Maybe I'm weird, but I thought that was delicious. Meal number three, lunch. And lunch would be the afternoon. I would say around 1230-ish. Now by this time, you're trying to eliminate all of your complex carbs, like your breads and things like that. A typical lunch for me would be a nice grilled chicken salad, lots of greens. Don't be afraid to load in those vegetables. Vegetables are great for you. They're going to help you go to the bathroom. They're going to help you let everything loose. Things going to flow a little better. <laughs> Try not to go over three ounces of chicken. How to measure your meats? Very simple. Just don't eat anything bigger than the palm of your hand. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> For dressing, all I did was add in a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar. And again, for every meal, I would drink water. Water throughout the day. Meal number four, midday snack. I don't know about you, but I always had like an itch for something a little bit sweeter and a little bit salty. I would recommend doing peanuts and dried cranberries. It's almost like having peanut butter and jelly. If you didn't like this combination, you could always do possibly a banana. Or I found these really cool dried mangoes and I love them. It's like eating gummy bears or candy. Just a small amount, not anything crazy. It's a snack. You're not eating, you know, for twins. Unless you are, then eat whatever you want. Meal number, what number is this? Meal number five, dinner.
dinner. Now for me, dinner is mostly a protein and lots of green vegetables. Right here, I decided to have three ounces of chicken with a cup of broccoli. I would also do a little bit of brown rice sometimes, but make sure it's a small amount because that is very high in carbs, but grains are good. So I do say try to add in some grains to your everyday as well. And of course, again, I have water. Meal number six, evening snack. For a late night snack, you don't want to go too heavy with something with a lot of carbs. You kind of want to keep it light. I do recommend doing this kind of cucumber salad. Just slice up a half a cucumber, and then I pour on a capful of vinegar, add in a little bit of dill, a little bit of garlic powder. It is one of my new favorite things. It's very light, but it fills you up at the same time. Now, for those of you who are probably complaining already and saying you want like something sweet at night, I understand the struggle is real. So how about a small amount of dark chocolate along with a few raspberries. How could you go wrong with raspberries and chocolate? Dark chocolate has been known to help you lose weight and we also did a video on that on some superfoods so if you'd like to take a look at that you can check that out as well. And that's basically what I would eat in one day. Seems pretty simple and it's a lot of food. Now keep in mind these are just examples of food. You don't have to follow it exactly, but if you are going to substitute, try to substitute foods that are similar in calories and food type. For snacks and portion control reasons, I bought these little bowls from the Dollar Tree and these equal about one fourth to one half cup. I would fill this up and know that that would be enough for my snack and I wouldn't eat any more than would fit in this bowl. Now a big part of losing weight is your diet, but also you should be exercising as well just to stay toned and fit. And if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about my exercise routine, I'd be happy to make a video. Just comment down below and let me know. So that's my whole tip and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all next Monday for another cheap tip and this Friday for more cheap laughs. Bye!